my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, that feels big. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness, fish. Yeah, that also feels like a decent one. Here's the fish. Oh my god. 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 Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, is day number four here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for Surf Sup version two. And today's gonna be an interesting one because I actually gotta finish clearing up all this junk and send that out of here at 10 a.m. And my flight leaves at 7.30 p.m. So I have about like a lot of time to kill and it's supposed to be windy and rainy and cloudy today. So I gotta adventure around Myrtle Beach with no rides or anything in the pouring rain with all my bags. So we'll see how this goes. But on top of that, we're also gonna try to catch fish. So just stay tuned for this adventure today. Oh, should be all good to go. I mean, despite all the rain and stuff, it's actually really warm. I'm sweating right now, holy crap. Well, just checking the weather, it's supposed to start storming at 10 a.m. So I gotta get to cover before then. There's a pier down there that I think I'm gonna go to. So I just gotta walk a mile, but I really wanna surf cast. People are feeding cats over here. There's wild cats, what, what the heck? I mean, there's clearly a sign that says no feeding the cat. People don't listen. It's starting to rain and I'm not at the pier yet. So this is not good. I'm gonna try from the surf first because apparently if it's like windy and rainy and stuff, it'll like kick up a bunch of bait and more fish will be active. May or may not be right, I don't know, but we're gonna try it anyways. Roll these shorts up, get on out there. Pretty rough though, I'm not gonna lie. One thing I didn't think through very well is I'm pretty much out of shrimp, so uh, yeah, I don't have any bait. This is going quite well if you can't tell already. Surf casting is a little bit rough. I might have to switch it up and go to the pier again. Fishing in the rain. I was told this pier was built right on a reef, so to just drop it straight down, don't cast, because otherwise I'll get snagged every second. So we don't want that. The whole theme of this trip has been adventures and curveballs and things that don't go as planned, but you know, that's just how life goes, so. There's a fish biting. I came a little bit closer in, see if they're here. Well, I didn't catch Jack off that pier. Uh, no one else was catching anything either. So I don't think that's a good sign. Don't really want to waste my time there. Gonna figure out a new plan. Although it's supposed to start thunderstorming here in the next hour or so. So yeah, it's not looking too good for me. I just want to catch one fish this last day. Back out to the first pier here. There's no more rain in the forecast. So I'm really hoping I can end off these last four or so hours with some good fish. I mean, again, they won't be big fish, but they'll be fish. There's a fish, I got one hooked now. Finally my first fish of the day, guys. And it's a tiny little croaker right here. Probably one of my smallest fish the whole trip. That's fine. Come on, fishies. There's a fish, oh yep, that feels like a decent one. Look at that guy, he's fighting, dude. He is pulling right now. Come on, what is it? Oh, it's a big black drum. No, not really big, but it's a black drum. Nice little black drum right here, and we're gonna send it back on his way. See you later, bud. There's another one. There's another fish right there, guys. Let's go, man. It's another black drum. A little bit smaller than the first one, but still a fish. Little dude right there. Down he goes. Another one, dude. Another fish. This feels a little bit smaller. Probably not a drum this time. Oh, yeah. Tiny croaker. Little dude right there. See you later, bud. There's another one, dude. Oh my gosh, that guy's fighting. It feels like a decent one. Probably another drum. Come on, mate. Oh yeah. We're getting some big drum over here, dude. Let's go. Dude, these guys are so much fun to catch. Definitely the hardest fighting fish that I've caught so far. See you later, bud. Another one, dude. Oh yeah. Definitely another drum, dude. These guys are fighters, dude. Keep saying, dude. Come on. Yep, this is like the drum hotspot, I guess. Look at that guy right there. See you later, bud. There's a fish. Oh, yep. Come on, bud. Croaker. Come on, buddy. Oh, a double right there. Let's go. Two for one right there. Two croaker. 
one line. I'm so good at fishing, guys. It's not even funny. Two little buggers right there. How cute. Double stick. See you later, buds. There's a big one, dude. Yes, sir. Come here, mate. Oh, yeah. He's actually fighting quite nicely. It's another black drum, that's why. I freaking love these things. Black drum are like by far my favorite fish to catch here. Only if I could get a monster one. I mean, I'll definitely take little dudes like this. No complaints, but you know, the bigger they are, the harder they fight, of course. I mean, not all the times, but you know. Anyways, see you later, bud. Oh my gosh. Did he come off? No, he came off. That felt like the biggest fish I've ever had. No way. Dude, that felt like a good one. There's another one. Oh my gosh, he's fighting. That feels like a decent one right there. Oh yeah. That is a good little trout right there. My first sea trout of the day, and it's definitely not a bad one right there. Just look at those two little fangs right there. He's got some nasty teeth. Pretty sure I got a fish here. Just the dinky one though. Tiny croaker. Dude, oh my gosh, that was such a big hit. I wasn't recording on the hit though, but nice little black drum right here, dude. These guys fight so dang hard. I know I keep saying that, but like, just look at the size of this guy. He's not big, right? But he still puts up a heck of a fight. Beautiful guy right there. Oh my goodness, dude. Another black drum. There's another fish. Oh, yeah. That actually feels like a good one. What the heck? Look at the way he's fighting. Definitely not a good one, but it's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, my gosh. That's a good one. That's definitely a good fish. What is it? There he is. Dude, these black drums can't get over it. I love these fish. They fight so dang hard. Even when they're this small, you know? Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious, dude. He's about to pull my rod out of my hand. I mean, some of these little croaker actually fight decently hard, so I like it. See you later. Oh my gosh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish right there. Yep, oh my goodness. Yes, sir. He is fighting, dude. That's a big fish. nice sea trout right there that's actually a good fish though these guys kind of remind me of walleyes i'm not gonna lie I i'm just gonna call it a saltwater walleye that is definitely my biggest sea trout of the trip though send him on his way oh my goodness look at that guys he's fighting yes sir what do we got oh yeah oh my goodness that is a nice size sea trout right there okay he's gonna keep plopping beautiful little sea trout to end the series close it out on a good note high note big fish beautiful looking guy right here all right send off the series man see you later time to get to the airport i will definitely be back but see you later myrtle beach i don't know the last time i had chick-fil-a but i had to get it because it was here not gonna lie it's looking a little sad. And she asked specifically, do you want pickles? And that's my pickle. That's just a little bit sad, I'm sorry. Probably a lot of controversy here, but Chick-fil-A is like, I mean, Popeye's KFC, Chick-fil-A. Just, just gonna say it. But I haven't had it in a while, so I had to come check just to make sure my uh, rankings are still there, which right now, yeah, I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, but like KFC and Popeye's are, have approximately, two hours into my flight takes off, so editing it is. At least we can be productive in the airport. Somewhat, I'm probably just gonna end up watching YouTube. Back in Detroit. Why'd I say it like that? Made it back home. It's two in the morning. I'm tired, I'm about to go to bed, but I just wanna close out this video and close out the entire series. And I just hope you guys enjoyed each and every single one of these videos. I know they weren't the most exciting and big catches in the entire world, but it was something different, you know, salt water, something that I don't normally do. And we're gonna close out the video with none other than, none other than the Daily Bible verse. And this one comes from Ephesians chapter four, verse 32. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. And this is just a great reminder that we don't deserve the forgiveness that God gave us, so 
you know, we can just keep that in mind when we need to forgive other people and when other, when other people do us wrong, just keep that in mind that we don't deserve God's forgiveness, but he still gave it to us. Just keep that in your head as a reminder as to what you need to do and what attributes you need to reflect of Christ in those situations when someone does something wrong towards you. So with all that being said, uh, you should just hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because it would mean the absolute world to me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to leave that thumbs up. And where do you want to see me go next? Maybe I can do some more trips. Probably not, because I am completely bankrupt now. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Uh oh, can somebody come and save me? I just want to know. I want to know.